Hey everyone, welcome to Fitness Friday. My name is Melissa. I'm a physiotherapist at Mackey Physiotherapy. And today what I'm gonna be talking about is different ways that you can challenge yourself at home with your workouts. So I am currently in my basement at my house and my little workout corner consists of a mat and a couple bands and that's pretty much about it. I don't have a lot to work with. So I've had to challenge myself in different ways to make my workouts a little bit more difficult. And I'm just gonna share with you some of the different ways that I've been doing that. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is my little weighted backpack. So what I have here is my backpack and then I have some old textbooks. So luckily I have a lot of textbooks. I was from when I was a student and it's easy to make this backpack pretty heavy pretty quick. Now, if you don't have a backpack or um, textbooks or anything at home, that's totally fine. Um, different ideas that you can use would be using like a duffel bag or a really durable bag of some sort, like a Lululemon bag or like a grocery bag or something like that, that you can put weights in to make it um, make it a little bit heavier. You can also use things, if you don't have textbooks, not everyone has a lot of textbooks. Um, you can use things like sugar, flour, um, random heavy things in your garage, anything like that just to make your backpack or your bag a little bit heavier. Um, yeah, and it's been really good to challenge not, and not just have body weight workouts at home. Um, I do anything with the backpack on and it just makes things a little bit more difficult. Um, so an example of some things that I've been doing, I'm going to show you the squat is what I've been doing with the backpack, um, but you can do things like um, front and lateral raises, you can do bicep curls, you can do um, bridges or hip thrusters, um, you can just have it on and do the step ups that Blaine was talking about earlier. Um, you can really do a lot of the things with the backpack, so that's why I find the backpack to be better just because it has straps and it has handles, makes it a little easier to do a lot of those things. But again, work with what you have at home and see what you can see what you can come up with. Now I'm gonna show you the squat. And you can do it both on your back and in front. I'm gonna show you the one where I have it in front. Um, and then we'll just go over the squat. So, with the backpack, have it out in front of you. Grab it like you would if you had a uh, medicine ball or something at the gym. Hold it like this, then we're gonna go over the squat. So you're going to have your feet about shoulder width apart. Then you're gonna to go back as if you were sitting in a chair, bring your butt back, bend your knees, hinge at your hips, and then come down like this. Now you don't want your knees to fall inwards. And you don't want them to go too far out. You want them to track nicely over your toes. And then lead with your hips, come back up into a full standing. Now, you can do that, like I said, with it on your back. You can do a lot of things with the backpack on your back um, just to challenge your normal body weight workout like that. So that is the weighted backpack that I've been doing at home. I find it really easy to make a lot of things a lot more difficult. Um, and even just doing things like core and everything, you can just have it there, have it on your back. And yeah, makes your workouts a little bit, a little bit more challenging. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is a cardio workout that I've been doing or a cardio exercise, I guess I should say, that I've been doing that really just consists of a slippery floor and some old towels. So I have the towels on the floor like this, one for each foot. And then obviously I put my feet on them and then I come up into a high plank just like this. Now, we can work with some of the things that Rob was talking about um, in his last Fitness Friday video and finding that neutral spine because, again, we can come into this tabletop position, do like a cat camel kind of thing to find a, our neutral spine. And then from there, we just come up onto our toes and then we move our feet and our knees up to our chest into like a mountain climber. So. You're, throughout this workout, you're wanting to make sure that your shoulders are over top of your hands. They're not too far out, they're about shoulder width apart. And then you're bringing, like I said, your knees up. And 
you can go faster just to make it a little bit more cardio base. But it's a pretty good workout. I'm pretty winded already. If you're doing about 30 seconds of that, it ends up to be a pretty good cardio workout. Um, you can do a lot of things with the, the slippery floor and the towels to challenge your core. You can go into that high plank, like I said, move your legs out kind of like a jumping jack. You can do a lot of things with those. Um, this is just a little bit, as you can see, pretty tired. This is just a little bit more cardio based and I found it to be, to be pretty fun and different just to spice up your workout. Now, that's all that I have for you today. I want you guys, I challenge you guys to come up with some different ways or show us the different ways that you've been doing workouts at home and maybe you have a different version of the weighted backpack or another way that you that you challenge yourself at home and I want you to show us that, whether it be a picture or just letting us know and tag Mackie Physiotherapy on Facebook and Instagram and let us know what you've been doing.